I ask, is it okay that I love the new advert for the Paralympics? Hashtag Paralympics, hashtag Pyeongchang 2018. Yes, the Paralympics kick off next Friday. Uh, we will bring you all the highlights of the opening ceremony with our guest Will I Am. Plus, we're going to have an extra Winter Paralympics special next Sunday, the 11th, with Noel Fielding, Hannah Cockcroft, and Kadena Cox. One person who is more excited than anyone about the Winter Paralympics, former wrestler and TV star Mr. T. <laughs> who tweeted yesterday, and I quote, make no mistake about it, fool. I'll be watching, cheering, hollering, supporting and showing much love for the Paralympics and I hope you will join me. Hashtag, I pity the fool who don't watch the Paralympics. <laughs> <laughs> Mr T! <laughs> call us. Call us, T. Call us, T. Call us and we'll have you on the show. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he's going to be tweeting, I pity the fool quite a lot during this, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> pity the fool, he's got no legs and he's doing skiing. <laughs> <laughs> and look, while we're talking Paralympians, David Monaghan asked, is it OK that Rosie Bancroft had her prosthetic leg stolen? Now, the Paralympic swimming hopeful Rosie Bancroft had her adapted car stolen this week with her prosthetic leg in it. And the crazy thing is, her car actually had the accelerator on the left-hand side. So whoever stole it had to learn how to drive it really quickly. <laughs> it's like a specially adapted car. Would it's be... yeah. How did they even get it going? It'd be like a game of Twister, wouldn't it? It's like right leg to accelerator, <laughs> left hand to brake. It's, uh, it's a dedicated thief. thief who can't tell anyone how, yeah. how, quite how amazing he is to steal such a car. Because obviously he's got to keep it a secret. That's a shame. Do you guys just... <laughs> Have you ever mistakenly left your leg in the car and then you, like, go... What, am I missing something? No, I've always got mine in the car. It's like, you know when you have your mittens tied to your coat? <laughs> <laughs> We've spoken to Rosie this week and the leg still hasn't been returned, so we're, we're declaring a leg amnesty, um, what, not, if that not... makes sense. <laughs> what, what? You don't have to hand <laughs> yours in. No, I'm just saying... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving you my leg. I'm desperate for her to find a car and leg. I'm not giving you no, mine, though. If, if, you've got, if you've got Rosie's leg... Firstly, if you've got Rosie's leg, you're an asshole. Yeah. You've driven off in an adapted car with a prosthetic in it. There's a special place in hell for you, and it's a cell with Oscar Pistorius. However... <laughs> You can redeem yourself by returning the leg. Send it to us. Send it to Rosie. Take the car back. And look, if you're in the Manchester area, keep an eye out for Rosie's leg. I don't know how you're going to find it. But look, if you don't take it back, it's only a matter of time before you get caught. Because think about it. There aren't really that many people around who can drive an adapted car and need a spare prosthetic. And look, after speaking to Rosie, we're pretty sure the perpetrator probably looks like this. <laughs> She was lovely. She's she, lovely. She's she great. said, here's my card if you ever need a one-legged stripper. <laughs> <laughs> have, have you got that card? <laughs> uh, what was great was watching Alex on the red carpet. This oh. girl went to me, um, oh, Alex, can you sign this for me? And then she went, actually, can you sign this? <laughs>